osteoarthritis versus rheumatoid arthritis in the case of osteoarthritis it is a degenerative disorder and uh, rheumatoid arthritis is it is an inflammatory condition so i'll tell you very deeply that uh, osteoarthritis is a degenerative disorder in which um, patient lose uh, especially elderly patient lose their uh, articular cartilage and uh, there will be wear and tear and uh, the joints will get pain so it affects elderly and has slow onset pain worsens with the use and in the case of rheumatoid arthritis it is uh, like it affects the young and it is autoimmune problem which IgM will be against the FC portion of IgG so where that is called rheumatoid factor so affects the young present with the morning stiffness that improves with the use joint involvement will be DIP distal interphalangeal joint in the case of osteoarthritis proximal interphalangeal joints hips and knees rheumatoid arthritis will be the wrist MCP MCP ankles shoulders hips and elbows and has a symmetrical distribution like ulnar deviation and there will be swan neck appearance so in the osteoarthritis distal interphalangeal will be Haberden nodes Bouchard nodes will be PIP so synovial fluid analysis and imaging for the synovial fluid analysis WBC will be less than 2000 cells osteoarthritis has osteophytes subchondral cyst and joint space narrowing will be seen on x-ray in the case of rheumatoid arthritis there will be anti-cyclic citrullinated peptide anti-CCP antibodies which is the rheumatoid factor positive what are the rheumatoid negative zero negative arthritis those are four member like enclosing spondylitis which is HLA-B27 positive reactive arthritis, psoriatic arthritis and the enteropathic which is associated with the HLA-B27-2 and special disease will be inflammatory bowel disease so enteropathic arthritis has its uh, inflammatory bowel disease so let me review again about uh, osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis so the morning stiffness will not be improved with the work the morning stiffness will be improved when you use your joint and your work distal interphalangeal joint uh, distal interphalangeal uh, joints and the proximal interphalangeal joint will be in the case of osteoarthritis just remember MCP will be here in the rheumatoid factor rheumatoid arthritis sorry osteoarthritis will be Heberden and Bouchard nodes so when you will get the question the question will be the pretty old patient in the case of rheumatoid arthritis there will be a young patient who is having a symmetrical distribution ulnar deviations for neck appearance so let me tell you a little bit about that's a physiology stages of rheumatoid arthritis first so in the case of uh, rheumatoid arthritis let me make it a little bit uh, more okay in the case of rheumatoid arthritis first I will tell you about the healthy joint healthy joint will be bone cartilage fibrous capsules synovial membrane joint cavity with synovial fluid so stages will be in the case of rheumatoid arthritis stages will be like synovitis inflammation of synovium synovial membrane inflamed and thickened bone and cartilage gradually eroded and there will be a penis formation it's very important high yield extensive cartilage loss exposed and pitted bone penis formation is right here There will be a fibrous ankylosis joint invaded by fibrous connective tissue. There will be a bony 
ankylosis like bone bones will be fused now i'm going to review about evolution of osteoarthritis first of all bone second is cartilage three is thin thinning of cartilage there is a thinning of cartilage here there will be cartilage remnants for destruction of the cartilage uh, rheumatoid arthritis young patient young here is old or elderly patient morning stiffness will be less when we do work so we can write work improve there will be having more pain when we do work so in the case of uh, osteo osteoarthritis is non inflammatory and uh, rheumatoid arthritis is the inflammatory condition thank you so much